Hi all, welcome to the third part of Microsoft Office Excel complete tutorial. In this video, I include the very basic operations in Microsoft Office Excel. Then, which operation to be performed when the data are split in different sheets, that is, sheet by sheet calculation. Then, the very important name manager settings in Microsoft Office Excel. So, let's start. I'm going to open Microsoft Office Excel by pressing window key and R button. After that, you will get a box named run dialog box. Type Excel as your run command. Then click on OK or press enter key. Then click on blank workbook. This is the main interface of Microsoft Office Excel. In this video, the first settings is the very basic operations using in Microsoft Office Excel. In Microsoft Office Excel, mainly there are four types of basic operations that are first one is addition, second one is subtraction and the third one is multiplication and the fourth one is division. Okay, so before start performing this operations over the sheet, first of all we have to learn what is the result of these operations. That is sum is the result of addition and the difference is the result of subtraction. Then product is the result of multiplication. Then quotient is the result of division. So before start performing these operations over the sheet, we have to learn one more thing that is the different symbols using for these operations. That is cross symbol for addition, iPhone symbol for subtraction, and the asterisk symbol for multiplication and the backslash symbol for division. Okay, so I'm going to explain addition process with a suitable example. I'm going to type the details of some students or the sheet. That is register number, name, mark 1, then mark 2, then total mark. I'm going to present the register number as a sequence. So, how we can create a sequence? It is very, very simple. Type the first number, then press enter key, then drag to down by using the black dot displayed at the bottom right corner of the active cell after holding the control key. So we can get a sequence. Once again, type the first number, then click on the number typed, drag to down by using the black dot. Actually, it is not black. It is a dark green. Drag to down by using the dark green dot displayed at the bottom right corner of the active cell after holding the control key. So we can get a sequence. In Excel, mainly there are three types of creating a sequence. The remaining two settings to create a sequence will be explained in the later videos. Then I'm going to type some name. Ranjit, Tanishka, Santhya, Rajesh, then Shreya. Mark 1, 4, 450, 540, 250, 350, 245. Then mark 2, 
485 540 235 625 then 240 240 okay so in this example i presented the details of five students so take a look over the headers that is register number name mark one mark two and total mark so in this example we have to find the total mark so how to calculate the total mark click on the required cell in excel mainly there are a lot of settings to perform calculations but perform calculations using an equation that is more comfortable actually perform calculations using equations will decrease the gap between the user and the microsoft office excel application so i suggest always use equations to perform calculations instead of using any manual settings so i'm going to calculate the total mark by using an equation so in excel every equation will proceeding with a equal to symbol i put an equal to symbol then have to calculate the total mark by adding the mark 1 and the mark 2 here the mark 1 is 450 and the mark 2 is 485 so don't type 450 plus 485 it will displace the result but there will be a problem that is suppose if we changed the input value that is i changed the mark 450 to 500 the result will not be changed that's a problem so always use cell address to perform calculations so here type c2 plus d2 what is c2 c2 is the cell address of mark 1 d2 is the cell address of mark 2 then press enter key then there is no need to type the equations in the adjacent cells to perform calculations we can calculate the remaining results by dragging the calculated result to downwards but actually it is not a professional way so the professional way of calculating the remaining results is make the calculated result as active hold shift key then press down arrow to select the remaining cells then press ctrl d this is the professional way of calculating the remaining results hope you understand the settings once again by performing the calculation there is no need to use the mouse type the first equation put n equal to symbol then type c2 plus d2 and press enter key make the calculated result as active okay by using the arrow keys hold shift key then drag to down to select the remaining cells press ctrl d in excel ctrl d means fill down one thing you have to remember is that some excel users are making the equations like this is equal to then click on c2 then put a plus symbol then click on d2 then press enter so please don't do like this always trying to type the cell address while making equations actually it decreases the gap between you and the microsoft excel so directly typing the cell address will help you to make the large equations so always type the cell address instead of clicking on the cell in description box you can find the link of some examples related with subtraction multiplication and division like addition equation you can easily calculate subtraction multiplication and division process so try it out with suitable formulas okay so in this video my next settings is sheet by sheet calculation a 
as the name implies that the sheet by sheet calculations are using when the data are split in different sheets. The main difference between the normal equation and the sheet by sheet calculations equation is we have to include the sheet name along with the cell address. So I'm going to explain the sheet by sheet calculations with a suitable example. I'm going to type 100 in CH. What's the location of 100? It is in C8 of the sheet, sheet 1. So, 100 is located in C8 in sheet, sheet 1. Then I'm going to type a number 200 in D6. So what's the location of 200? It is in D6 of the sheet, sheet 2. So 200 is located in D6 of the sheet, sheet 2. Suppose if you want to calculate the sum of these numbers, that is 100 and 200 in sheet 3. So we have to type the equation like this is equal to sheet 1 exclamation sheet 1 exclamation C8 plus sheet 2 exclamation D6 press enter key. So this is the sheet by sheet calculation equation as said earlier that is we have to include the sheet name we have to include the sheet name along with the cell address suppose if you want to display the equation instead of a result so put a apostrophe symbol before the equal to it displays the equation instead of the result in this video my next settings is name manager in normal case we are all always using cell address directly in equations to perform calculations but for a change we can use name instead of cell address while making equations to perform calculations that is actually the name manager for example suppose if you want to calculate the total of this 100 and 200 so in normal case i'm using the equation like this is equal to c8 plus e8 so take a look over the equation i typed here C8 is the cell address of 100, E8 is the cell address of 200. But for a change, we can apply some name to the number 100 and some name to the number 200. So I'm going to set a name to the number 100. So click on 100, then press Ctrl F3, then click on New, then type a name for our number 100 for example I'm going to type number 1 then close then click on 200 then press ctrl F3 then click on new then type number 2 the main thing while giving a name to the number is that don't use any white space. For example, I just type number 2. It is not valid. It must be a single word. And one more thing, the selected cell's name must be start with an alphabet. So, 2 number. That is not correct. Number 2 is correct. Then click on OK. Then close. So the equation 
to calculate the sum of 100 and 200 is, is equal to number 1 plus number 2. Then press enter key. We can use the applied name that is number 1 and number 2 in another sheet also because the applied names scope is workbook that's why we can use the applied name in different sheets for example suppose if we typed is equal to number one plus number two in sheet two we can also get the result 300 because the scope of number one and number two is workbook suppose if we set the scope of a name to a particular sheet we can use that name in that particular sheet only for example i just typed a number 500 okay and 250 i just typed two numbers 500 and 250 i'm going to apply a name to the number 500 so press ctrl f3 then click on new okay i'm going to set a name like abc then i'm going to change the scope as sheet one then click on ok then close so what's the name of 500 that is abc and its scope is sheet one then i'm going to apply some name to the number 250 by pressing ctrl f3 then click on new then i'm going to set the name of 250 as pqr and i'm going to set the scope as sheet one then click on ok then close so what's the name i applied to the number 250 that is pqr and its scope is sheet one so here i'm going to type the equation like abc plus pqr so we can get the result as 750 it is correct but uh, sheet two I'm going to type ABC plus PQR. ABC plus PQR. So we can get a result like hash name question mark because the name ABC and PQR will not be available here because of the scope we set already while applying name to these numbers. I think you understood the settings and about the scope so in description box you can find some examples related with basic operations sheet by sheet calculations and the name manager so download it and try it in your system if you have any doubt please comment me okay so i'm winding up from the third part of microsoft office excel complete tutorial if you like this video please subscribe my channel and click on the bell icon to get notifications while i am uploading new videos into my channel so see you in the next part bye